Chat GPT is amazing, but you know what is more even amazing? Visual Chat GPT, which gives you the ability to work with images as well. So let's first take a look at what is ChatGPT in the first place. Then I want to introduce Visual ChatGPT to you and show you how you can actually start using that because it's not officially released and you need to do some basic setups to actually start using that. But that's fine. I'm going to show it to you in a minute. So here it is, ChatGPT, which is really amazing. It's really powerful. But the problem with ChatGPT is that you're not able to work with images, just text. So for instance, if you're a marketer and you want to come up with some keyboards about image, you need to tell ChatGPT what to generate. So for instance, I want to come up with some keywords for my product. Let's say, give me 10 keyboards. about digital products like phone. Well, really easy, but it could be easier if you actually give the image to the chat GPT. So let's take a look what is visual chat GPT. So here it is a very simple version of visual chat GPT because it's not officially released. And actually, you need to do the setup yourself to start using that. So here I can upload an image. This probably. It's a little bit slow because it's running on Google Cloud Lab. And it's the free version. So it's really slow. But that's fine, I think. Now, I want to ask it to give me. 10 keywords about this image. As simple as this. So let's see. The image you provided is of a man wearing a brown jacket. So, well, yeah, it's partially brown and green. So it makes sense. The keywords associated with this image are man, brown, jacket, clothing, person, male, and so on. So it did a really great job, I believe. And it makes it really easier to interact with images and you don't need to tell ChatGPT what to generate. So let's try another image. Okay, this one. Let's first ask what this image is about. The image you provided is of a man dressed as Santa Claus. Well, great. Now, write a paragraph about this for me. As you can see, Visual ChatGPT is not able to actually generate a long text. It can give you a description about the image, some keywords, some information about it, but it's not able to generate text. But that's fine because we can combine it with actual chat GPT to come up with the text we want. So here, for instance, I can say that here back in chat GPT, write a paragraph. about this so actually i need to get rid of the, the image you provided so let's just write a paragraph about a man dressed okay now it looks better so now you see what Visual Chat GPT is capable of. And also, it's able to generate some images for you. However, the quality of images is not really great that much in comparison to what we have with Midjourney. But I think it's not the purpose of Visual Chat GPT. Basically, the main area that Visual Chat GPT is powerful in is when you want to actually extract some information from 
images. It's going to be really useful in those areas. Let's try one more time. Okay, here is more information. He's wearing a red and white suit with a white beard and a black belt. Okay, he is also wearing a black hat with a white pom pom on the top. He is smiling and looks happy. Well, to some extent, it's true. Okay, who are else in the picture? There is no one else in the picture. Well, that's quite a good answer. So here you can see that there is a little bit bug with with your chat GPT still, but I think it's in very first stages. And as you can see, it's not an official website. So if you are interested to work with this tool, keep watching. I want to show you how you can actually set this up. So the very first thing you need to do, just go to the link I put in the description below. It's the link to the Colab project for this Visual Chat GPT. And actually, you need to run it. It's really simple. There are some codes and commands there, but you don't actually deal with that. It's not important. The only thing is really important here is this open API key here, which is actually coming from open AI and it shows that behind the scene this tool is working with chat GPT actually with GPT itself not chat GPT so to grab your API code go to here in platform.openai.com overview here you can see all sorts of tools related to open AI but to get your free API key you need to come to your personal here, view API keys and create new secret key and just copy this and paste it exactly here. This is a free API key, but just for a while after working, I'm not sure, maybe one or two months, you need to pay some money to buy the actual product. Now, after you did this, it's time to run the code. So here you just need to click run time and run all. It could take a couple of minutes to complete it. Okay, now when it's done, it gives you a link to the server on which the project is running. Uh, you need to pay attention that everything here is actually based on the free version. So uh, it says that it's the link is only available for 72 hours. If you want to actually run it forever, you need to pay some money. But that's fine for us. So this is the visual interactive chat GPT that you can use. Basically, it's useful for getting some information from images. But it's going to be really powerful than this and it's just a start. And the paper actually, the project is based on this, is this paper. And you can see that they're using all sorts of tools actually as the core of the visual models and then it interacts with chat GPT but I think it's in the very early stages and it's not the final version but I believe that it's going to be really fascinating soon I hope you enjoyed this video please consider subscribing to my channel thank you for watching